you think the trigonometry that you do in GCSE maths is never going to be handy, but it is if you're maintaining a turbulence instrument on an atmospheric research aircraft. My name is Hannah Price. I'm an instrument scientist at the FAM Airborne Laboratory. We're part of the National Centre for Atmospheric Science. FAM's a really unique facility in that it allows us to make measurements of the atmosphere in the atmosphere. It's great that we're able to go up to whatever altitude is of interest to the science, anything from 50 foot over the sea to 35,000 foot, and fly along at 200 miles per hour, making measurements for five hours at a time. The measurements that BAM collect are used to improve weather forecasts, to understand climate change, to make air quality measurements and understand pollution. These are the two temperature probes, one without a heater, one with a heater. As the aircraft flies along, air is pushed down through these inlets and comes into contact with a little sensing element inside each one. And they're really fast response temperature sensors. They have to be fast response because the aircraft is flying along at 200 miles an hour. And if you want to know what the temperature is, as you move through the atmosphere, sort of every few meters, then you need the temperature probe to be a really fast response so that you get that spatial resolution. As an instrument scientist, I look after the core instrumentation on the aircraft that measures things like temperature, pressure and humidity. That means I calibrate instruments, I fix them when they're broken, I upgrade them if they need upgrading and when the aircraft flies I fly with it and make sure all the instruments work and all the data is collected. These are our underwing probes. They measure cloud particles and aerosol particles. They tend to use lasers to either take photos of the shape of particles or to measure their size and how many there are of different sizes. My background in physics is crucial for my day-to-day -day work because it forms the building blocks of all of the measurements that I make. I used my undergraduate physics notes yesterday when I was converting some units of humidity, so it does come in really handy all the time. I really enjoy being able to pull together different measurements from you know, tens or hundreds of flights to understand how the instruments that I look after are performing and be able to use that data to make calibrations and to make the measurements better. This is the equipment that we use to collect filter samples. So we have an operator that stands at the rack and places cartridges containing filter paper inside this holder, refits the line like this, and then uses the valve here to expose the filter to a flow of air coming from an inlet on the outside of the aircraft. This badge is to show that I'm a member of the NCAS that's the National Centre for Atmospheric Science Community for Change. It's a new initiative. It's the public engagement arm of NCAS's Equality, Diversity and Inclusivity strategy. It's a way for people who work for NCAS to take part in activities that will widen participation and improve inclusivity in atmospheric science. The Access Project works with students from disadvantaged backgrounds who have the potential to go to university but might not know anybody who's been to university or know quite how to go through the process of applying for university. So I help my tutee in preparing for her exams and we have some nice chats about what it's like to go to university, what it's like after university, what the world of work is like, that sort of thing.